<laughs> you know that feeling when you just accidentally get a, a, a five-star weapon and you happen to be an amber main? Yeah, I know that feeling. I got Polar Star. So, what's up, everybody? Divine here. Yeah, I got Polar Star. Um, And I will say I have this weapon at 80. So, you know, it's not 90 yet. But with it being at 90, you would just have 3% more crit rate. And you would have... 608 base attack so yeah take with that what you will but i will say off rip this weapon is very convenient it's very very convenient because as it is right now we do not have that many four star bows with crit rate right now crit rate is looking scarce scarce unless you have skyward heart by accident or something like that or you actually got it like purposely you you don't have like the crit rate bows and you know that sort is very scarce you would have to literally get the battle pass bow or you would have to wail for a weapon i luckily enough have been saving <laughs> and building my pity up on um the weapon banner and I actually got Polar Star in my first chance, so I was actually just very lucky, fortunately. But I would say this weapon, for one, is complicated, but at the same time, simple at, at face value. The way this weapon works is, first of all, you get base elemental skill and elemental burst damage increased by 12%. And then on top of that, every time you use a normal a charged attack a skill and then a burst every time each of those hit an enemy you gain a stack each stack is dependent meaning you actually do have to hit a normal a charged attack a skill and then a burst you have to hit all of those to get that 48 percent attack boost that itself doesn't work with all bow characters like i know like i've seen i was watching who this who these who this bow works on and it doesn't work on yoimiya because yoimiya's skill does not do damage it works perfectly on t child it works good on ganyu even though it's not her best in slot and it also works good on amber especially if you have c2 and i'm very glad i'm very glad i accidentally got c2 amber when i was summoning on standard a while ago so i can actually proc all four stacks very very naturally and with that i have really fell in love with this boat for one it looks really good it looks super good and on top of that it is very nice and very convenient because with it being crit rate and you getting like 30% crit rate and high base. For one, I get higher base attack than any other weapon with Amber. Don't get me wrong. If I put on like Hamayumi, since Hamayumi has a 55% attack boost, I'm going to have higher base. But then you run into this issue where I don't have enough crit rate. So then I will have to run a crit rate um, helmet. And then... There goes down the whole rabbit hole. So then you have to choose. Do you prefer that raw attack over that crit rate? Up to you. But with this bow, I find myself being able to run a style of amber that I've never found before in my life. Where everything, her burst, her skill, her, you know, all, her charge attack, all of like, all of those when you melt vape and things like that are all strong and on top of that i'm still hitting good normals even though i'm running a pyro damage circlet i do have my amber um crowned her normals are crowned but like this bow is just conveniency I, I don't know why i'm not hitting my normals water but if you look here 16k i'm gonna throw that over there Throw that. Boom. And my thing is with 
you know, with me being an Amber main and with me loving Amber, this bow just works out in my favor. You know what I mean? So I'm a special case. I know that. I understand that. But I do think this bow is good. Do I recommend rolling for it and rolling on a weapon banner? No. Because the weapon banner will scam you. It will scam you. That is guaranteed. I've seen it happen. Don't get me wrong. They added a pity system now. But it does not make it better. You know what I mean? It does not make it better. Okay, here. We hit our burst. Hit a charge attack. Hit a normal. And our our attack is at about 200. 1,900. Gonna kill him. No, don't. Don't leave. No, you don't get to leave now. That's not an option. But, yeah. As you can see, my Amber's hitting pretty good. And I just actually just enjoyed the bow. You know what I mean? Like I said, conveniency. Oh my god, my aim is so horrible. Kelly Charo, just die. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> but, excuse my crappy play. <laughs> but, yeah. Polar Star is a pretty good weapon. I have not much to say on it. Other than, it's a little complicated. But, I do think it's a pretty good bow. I do think, like, for example, Sara. Like, if I really wanted to. Like, I can use this bow on any, mainly any, like, any character. For example, I can use this bow on Sara. I can use this bow on Aloy, I can use this bow on Tartag if I ever build him, which I'm, I don't even want to talk about it, <laughs> I can use this bow on Fischl, and so that's what I'm saying, this bow is actually a really good universal bow for most bow units, and it may not be the best bow to, like, ever for any of these units, but it is a good bow. And so, with that being said, if you really need crit rate, a crit rate bow, look out for this weapon. Whenever it gets on a really good banner, or if you have the spare primos or the spare money and you want to, go for it. It's a pretty good weapon. But if you don't have the spare money or the spare primos, you don't, you know, you know what I mean? Do not risk summoning for this weapon. Because you might get memory of dust. And then you're going to be angry. So, yeah. But, that's it for Polish Star. I really do like this bow. I really do kind of enjoy it. It's a fun playstyle. I'm going to be honest. It's a fun playstyle. And I can see myself using this bow on really any bow character I DPS with. Like, I really want to DPS with uh, Sar because I love her design. And I love, you know... The Tengu aesthetic that she brings. And I can also see myself using this with Aloy. Because Aloy. This bow will actually be very good with her. Very good. I can run like a melt build for, with Aloy. But right now I really do like the Predator bow. Which I'm also going to make a video on. Talking about with Aloy. Because I do think this bow is really good. I got it to 90. And been using it for a while. But that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe. All that is very much appreciated. Um, how are you feeling if you got Polar Star, you know, can you comment below and tell, you know, everyone else how you feel and, you know, share your thoughts if you are comfortable with sharing your thoughts. See ya. Have a nice day. Bye.